Let's go to Asia for some yes. themes, and we'll get to Japan in a moment. But I want to start with China right. because that will be the talk this summer. Alibaba, the big yeah. IPO, yeah. we've seen lots of Chinese internet stocks go public. Yeah. What is going on in that sector that you like, and yeah. are there any risks in this sector, a la the U.S. in the late '90s with all our internet stocks? Oh, great question. So, if you think about China, there's really two Chinas. There's old China. New China. The old state owned enterprises, they really have struggled. You look at the Shanghai index making new lows, and yet the new China, the five sectors, you know, consumer, retail, alternative energy, internet, and healthcare are all making highs. Now there's volatility in them, but they're they're making highs. Why? Well, you've got a country that is shifting slowly, but shifting from fixed asset investment to consumption. And those companies that are going to take advantage of that are, are quite interesting. Now, the question of do we have any risks like the 99-2000 tech bubble in the U.S., really that was valuation. I mean, you had companies selling at 100, 200, 300, 400 times earnings, you know, or those worse. That had earnings. Those that had earnings. <laughs> in fact, many of them didn't have earnings. The interesting thing about the Chinese companies is they have earnings and lots of earnings. So there's this company, VIP Shops, that, that we love. It's basically the TJ Maxx of, of China. They sell off-price goods and flash sales online. They're basically building TJ Maxx or Ross stores without the brick and mortar. So their margins are higher. It's been this fantastic story. It's a multi-fold and people say, oh, it's ahead of itself. It still sells at a reasonable multiple of earnings. Mm -hmm. Unlike some of these cloud stocks that have no earnings and no prospect of earnings selling at 28 times revenue. So, you know, take Alibaba. You know, Alibaba, amazing story. Dominant consumer franchise in, in China. You know, we've been investing on the private side for years, so we're pretty excited about this IPO on 8.8. Looks like it's going to be yep. good feng shui day. Um, but the excitement about that is next year they're going to make $8 billion of earnings. Not revenues, earnings. So you put a reasonable multiple on that, and some are putting extreme multiples, but if you put even a reasonable multiple, you, know, you can get to $160, $170 billion at the IPO. We think it's probably going to be a little lower, maybe around $150 billion. But if you get up to a, a 30 multiple, you know, that stock could be $240 billion valuation. We actually believe that given their dominant presence in that market, that, and because they're so profitable, that they will become the, the most highly valued company, even eclipsing, App, even eclipsing Apple at some point.